uh, women look at men as like fixer uppers. Fixer uppers. Tell me does this roller coaster? Can you hear? Did you hear that? Fixer women uppers? look at men as yeah. fixer uppers. Okay. Some men, hear me out, the man that like got the criminal record, they got the tattoos that don't really hold the job down. It's like, I see potential in that one. And then when the man turns out to not be shit, they want to get mad at somebody. Now, going back to it, I think that Fatima was investing in Zach because she saw something in him. But you could also argue that Zach has been a, he, oh, follow me. While Fatima has been building up Zach, Zach has been taking apart the walls Fatima put up after she got her heart broken. So while Fatima is giving Zach all these affirmations, positivity, that's helping Zach flourish. But also, Zach is teaching Fatima how to be vulnerable again, how to trust again, how to love again. So you could all, his perspective is biased. <laughs> anyway, you can look at it from the perspective of how Listen, it's people coming for me in the comments too. So it's okay. We we have this is why we having this dialogue. Because some people are saying, like, Erica, he had he what he brings to the table, he got a place now. He got all of that now. Thank God Tyler Perry gave Zach something to have. Because before that, I was just like, oh Jesus, they got this man out here just fighting for his life. But sorry, go ahead, Jeremy. <laughs> Yeah, bicycle, the same white shirt, sleeping at Danny's place. But hear me out. People can look at what, and what pissed me off. You say that uh, Zach, like, what is he going to get for Tima? When Zach got the $25,000 from Chain Breakers, number one, he earned that money. He worked for that money. Fatima had nothing to do with that. Miss Lisa's boyfriend, Chris, who runs Chain Breakers, told Zach about the program. Basically, he put him onto it. Zach showed up and then Fatima hit him with the car when he was on his bike. That was Zach's fault because he was riding recklessly through a parking lot. Fatima was looking straight ahead, lights on. I just wanted to put, put that out there. So Zach worked for the money. Fatima delivered the $25,000, so $25K. He gave $5,000 to Karen. He gave part of the money to Fatima. We don't know the exact amount, but this was at a time where he felt that Fatima didn't want to have anything to do with him, that, you know, she was mad at him. I forgot the exact reason why, but she said, Zach, I don't want your money. I'm not one of these chicks that say, like, you took something from me because Zach was like, I don't want another woman to tell me that I did nothing but take and take from them and didn't give them anything in return. So Zach has attempted to give Fatima stuff, but she doesn't want it. Also, when they first met, Zach was mad about the Karen. Pa Karen can you pause thing. right there so really quick? Yeah. Right. Um, and this is a this is a qualm I have about just the writing. I hate that idea of like when he said it, I was like, I appreciate him for doing it, but I hated that he quantified like I'm doing this because I don't want you to be able to hold this over me. And it's like, sir, just do it because you feel like it's the right thing to do. You don't need to 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 lead with your trauma. <laughs> like it's okay. Um I so, it, go ahead. But I feel like that I don't feel like that's fair because a lot of the characters carry their own trauma. For example, mm -hmm. Fatima, her trauma was from the man who broke her heart. What was it? They got, what? Apparently he broke up with his girlfriend slash fiance. They had like a hot week together. She, dumped, she got dumped on Friday and he married the woman on Saturday and that tore her up. That's why she went on this whole, I'm just going to date to date kind of thing. So I do feel like if you look at how Zach acted when he first met Fatima, that really tells us everything. Because when she invited him over to her place, he stayed away. He was like at the other side of the room. He did. He was like a, a new puppy at a new home. He didn't know how to take it in because, hey, you're acting a bit too nice and everything. It's like my ex was did the same thing and then she turned crazy. Karen said the same thing about Aaron. Zach, you started off the same way, nice and sweet, but then when you got comfortable, your true colors show. So I do feel like in some ways, I think Karen put Zach up because he didn't have anything. And I remember it was stated, the only time Zach chipped in was the down payment on the apartment. After that, he never paid rent. He never bought anything. Right. Any money he made from the airport, I don't know what he did with it, but he didn't give it to Karen. He just mooched off her. So, when you look at Zach and Fatima, 
I do think when you look at the, when you put the material stuff aside, like the house, the car, the dinners and crap, I think that what happens is Fatima nourishes Zach with the affirmations and everything like that. But Zach is able to help Fatima trust again, learn again, uh, love again. I've said before, even if these two don't end up together, but they walk away better people for it, Zach being able to stand on his own feet, you know, not always needing somebody to lift him up. He even called Fatima his good luck charm. I was like, okay. But then you got Fatima who, after Zach, depending on how they may or may not break up, hopefully she's able to trust other men again. So I don't think it's fair to say that Zach is just a low down dog who just takes and takes because I do believe the episode where Gary had the surprise wedding and it was Aaron versus, if you will, Sabrina, Danny, and uh, Fatima. They were just talking about Zach in general. And I think Danny was the one that said, well, you know, Zach, he always needs like a woman to take care of him. And Aaron's like, that's right. And then they were like, hey, what are you talking about? And they were right. So basically, I think that she awakens every bone in his body. <laughs> but I do feel like Zach is the kind of guy where I feel like because he doesn't, he hasn't received any kind of positiveness from women before, it's almost like he wants to overcompensate by giving it all to Fatima. But I do think that despite the whole, I don't think he wants to get married right away. There have been not certain things, but I think that for me personally, he should slow it down a bit because Fatima is just starting to trust again, love again and stuff like that. So him just, uh, hey, hey, let's move in together, drop everything and move in with me. I do feel like that's a bit much. But on the it's too, side sad. Thing, it's too much too soon. And going back really quick, because I want to yeah. be very clear about the narrative. People love to like shift your narratives or like tell you what you said. I did not say that he was no good and he was like low down and he was completely taking advantage of Fatima. I was I said that the setup for when he met Fatima, he did not have much of anything. And she helped him attain no. a lot of what he actually has. So for me, when I was watching, knowing that he still had feelings for ah. for Knowing that he still had feelings for Karen, which was proof because they wound up smashing at the damn salon while all of this is still happening too. Knowing that he still has these feelings, knowing that he's he is in the process of pushing to be a better person and rejecting some of his 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 you know lowest vibrations and tendencies and things like that. And then me seeing this woman in Fatima who was very grounded, very confident, like has everything together. My fear was that he was not necessarily providing the whatever it was going to be to help it be a little bit more even even keel where they were given to each other the start of Fatima and Zach's relationship looked a lot like her pouring into him now he does have things now he did take every opportunity that he was given and flip it and build upon it which is really like this that's one of the reasons why I really really love Zach's character because they allowed for him to really shift his narrative and capitalize off of the things and whether it was good or bad situations that were placed in his um, in his uh, past. However, when they started off, he was definitely still leaning on her. Now he made different decisions moving forward and was able to capitalize on it, but he was definitely still leaning on her. And yes, you're right. He has been able to push her to open up and to trust. And she's allowing herself to fall a little bit more. He's creating the soft space for her to land if she's going to fall. For him, I agree with that 100%, which is why I feel like the team still needs to happen. Like, I definitely want them to explore this relationship. I just think it's, it's when people come to me and, <laughs> and it's like, it's just so cut and dry and, and, and not nuanced at all in reference to all of the factors that's going on. I just think that that's not actually um, honest or realistic in reference to talking about the situation. So I just want to be very clear. I did not say that Zach walked in to take advantage of the team and all of that, like some of these people are trying to say, <laughs> um, or what you might like assume. I think that it's very easy for people to be like, oh yeah, he was benefiting from you know her being in his life, and then people were like, oh yeah, he just took totally. I never said that. I said that he benefited from her presence in his life. She was giving a lot to him at the beginning, and it wasn't actually reciprocated. In the in the in the even way, because he wasn't even in a place to be able to give much of anything. But the thing is, that was all her choice. 
She was the one that chose yeah. to Yeah, oh, 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 let's go back to that too, because you said that you made a statement, and now these general statements that the, the opposite sex love to make about the opposite sex just, it bewilders me, but okay. You said that women like to fix up men or have projects. Right? Yes. I don't think yes. that that's what the team was doing. Like, I don't think, because contra and, and honestly, this is me speaking from my, ex my past experience and traumas, um, I would say, because I had that kind of situation. I didn't go into it like, oh, I'm gonna fix this person up. Like the person that I'm actually, I was actually involved with weren't who they that person was until later i had already fallen for this person then they made certain decisions and fell to a place it's like well fuck i'm already in love with you what i'm gonna do leave you that's some weak ass shit i'm not doing oh sorry i'm cursing but i'm not doing that like i'm gonna ride and then now i'm in this thing with this person that i love so deeply so i don't know if it's necessarily true to say that women as in the majority of women are out here looking for projects because that's not the case but i will tell you that i don't it has to be something there. Like it has to be something that feels or looks worthwhile there. Because if there is, then I'm willing to ride through a lot with the person. It's not like me walking into Michael's like, oh, what arts and crafts project can I pick up today? Because that is not the, that's the no. At least not for me. I don't know about other black women, but that's not the move. I. I feel like I want to get my glasses and turn into Kevin Samuels here talking about a high value man and a high value woman because I'm sorry, but I'm not, okay, let me say that. Some women tend to look at men as fixer uppers. Basically, okay. it's the man who, you basically take, you're trying to make a, a six figure loving husband out of a thug on the street. That's what I think about some of these women when you look at Zach in terms of a person with what about a record, if you grew up? a person. What, huh? what about if you actually grew up alongside that person? Well, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about in the context of sisters. And in real okay. life, too. I mean, there's a difference. I'm just speaking. Yeah, yeah, he was uh, d -ing her down. If, if they good and bad, you're going to fill up their head with affirmations. Yeah, I said it. Now, here's my thing. Let, let's talk about Fatima. I think she literally said, I'm not looking for a committed relationship. I'm just sleeping around, hooking up with people. So when she decided to pour into Zach, she wasn't looking for her. She, when she decided to pour into Zach, like that cup you're drinking out right now, she wasn't waiting for him to refill it. She wasn't. So I think that when she picked Zach, and put her, put him in her apartment, it wasn't for any long-term stuff. It was like, I was, you talking about, you were uh, worried about Zach, and I'm not, and I want to try to make sure I phrase it correctly, leeching off of Fatima without returning anything to her. I was looking at it from the opposite perspective of when Fatima revealed not her lady I, I, I'm just concerned about him only be, being the one to benefit from their from their interaction. Oh, okay, I, I can see that, but and that was I initially. Like a, initially, yes, I agree. But when um, they were first starting to interact, and then she revealed to the sisters that she isn't looking for a long-term relationship. I'm like, Zach, you need to run. You need to get out of here because when she's like done with you, then hey, you're gone. And she's just going to move on to the next one. So I feel like Fatima and Zach, when you look at them now, when you look at them now, what's different from when they first met? And oh, oh no, 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 bump that. Let's talk about what you were saying before. I feel an argument could be made that Zach would still win even if he and Fatima never started living together. Here's why, here's why. Fatima was not the one that told him about chain breakers. Fatima was not the person that did the work with Chain Breakers. That was that. Yeah, she's connected to him. I mean, like the actual work. She kept him. She kept 000. him in there. She kept him in there because it was definitely like, who Hayden? Who that little insult? No, no, no. Anyway. Hayden tried to kick him out. Hayden tried to do the whole drug crap. But then you know she was able to uh, get that figured out so he can get back in. But remember. At, that was after he got the $25,000. So let's not even talk about that. Fatima was not the one to do the work. Fatima 
handed him the $25,000. But here's the thing people forget, because as soon as Zach got that um, big stock win and everything, people are like, yep, Fatima deserves some of it. No, she does not. The reason Zach got that, that blow up, <laughs> oh, I, I know you didn't, but people were on the channel and the Facebook group. Mm -hmm. Zach was the one that was working his ass off at the airport that day, trying to get as many tips as possible. He went above and beyond and got that woman's laptop, and then that led to the stock tip. He talked to, I believe, the woman herself at the hotel, and then he left. And then he talked with Preston, which those two together, I love their bromance, they're cool. Um, he just asked, so if you had some intel on the stock, what would you do? And then he put it in the bank, Boom, he blew up. So I don't think it's fair to say that without Fatima or with, yeah, that Zach wouldn't be where he was without Fatima because I feel like in some ways, Fatima. I'm, I never Zach thought about I never really thought oh, about ahead. that specifically, but honestly, I can't answer because I don't know. I Because to me, the piece the like validation piece that she brought in was so pivotal to him that I can't actually say that I know for a fact that he would be exactly where he is now without her. But I also can't say that I don't like that he wouldn't. So I have not even I have not even thought about that question actually. <laughs> Here's another one. I think Zach may have less issues if he never got involved with Fatima because Hayden wouldn't try to get at him so much from the drugs to the harassment, trying to get him kicked out of chain breakers and whatnot. I'm not saying I don't want them together. I'm looking at the grand scheme of, okay, ever since Zach and Fatima got together, how many escalations and issues have come up? So I'm just saying, I, I feel like people need to give Zach more credit. Sure, he leans on people because it seems, he, in his mind, he needs validation from a woman. And without, I mean, Go back to uh, a couple episodes ago when he was going to make the bid on the house. That morning he was so confident, but then when he called Fatima, he didn't. He was unsure, but she gave him that boost of like, "Look, you got this." Because really, he wanted her there with him. But from there, he made the bid, and you know things are working out there. Uh, wait, she changed his projection. He would have not been in that position. I don't know. Financially, maybe I, it, it's a. I can see both sides of that argument. I really can't. I really can't. I mean, I think, and this is like a completely other conversation, I think, but part of it that's not actually being said is that, and this is a thing that I kind of try to allude to with the content that I create on my channel around Zach, what I want for Zach, and I give him, I think I give him more credit than it might sound like I'm giving him, but what I want for Zach is for him to want better and to do better for himself first. And that's something that I feel like yeah. he struggles with. To me, Fatima gave him a reason, immediate reason to like, okay, this stuff is popping off of me. I can't mess this up. I can't mess this up. Like, like and 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 to me, it was like a push of like, also just not wanting the same thing to happen with Karen to happen again. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't uh, know uh, if this, I can say that. That could be said, in the exact that same be said about a lot of characters across a bunch of Tyler Perry shows about you don't need to hook up with somebody right away. Do better for yourself. Get your own place. <laughs> get a better job. Make more money. And most importantly, heal from any past relationship trauma before you get involved with someone else. That way you are sure you're not using them as a way to get over somebody. Do I think that Zach is using Fatima to get over Karen? No, I honestly do not think that. Because here's the thing, though. I think, and I mentioned this somewhere. You probably move too fast for me um, to even believe that that's not an option. I feel like the history between Zach and Karen probably amounted to Zach getting too comfortable. I feel like Karen was like Fatima at the start, which uh, Zach did confirm. He said, look, you're acting like my ex did. We first started going out, and then she started changing. I think two things could have happened. Number one, Zach just didn't move at the pace Karen thought he would in terms of like getting up on his feet, you know, being more of a man, you know, making more money, making smarter decisions. Or number two, Zach just got too comfortable 
with Karen taking care of him. So she he opted to just cheat on her, spend money doing who knows what. And then on top of that, you also have to remember the fact that, well, what exactly did Danny... I don't know. Well, you also have yeah, to remember what? Um, well, I was about to say the continuity is messed up. We don't know exactly how these two met. If it was Karen and Zach or Danny introducing them to each other. What I will say... Um, and this also goes back to what I was saying about the start of Zach and Fatima and why I was like, well, honestly, I was just very keyed in on and, and watching, like, let's see what's about to happen. Because it's one thing for your relationship to be fine and to be progressing beautifully while somebody is affirming you. But one of the things that I felt like was very clear in Zach and Karen's relationship is that he didn't, he wasn't really receptive regardless of how it's said, because yes, you're right. You know, everybody's right in reference to like being disrespectful. Like nobody's going to receive things disrespectfully well, right? But to me, Zach seems to struggle or before, previous Zach, <laughs> before we got up into the last five episodes or so, or probably before he, you know, started to make this true ascension, right? He did not handle yeah. people telling him the truth well, people holding him accountable well. And one of the things that I remember, and I made a video about it, I'm gonna go back and pull that video up and like pull some clips from that. Because I said in that video, this was before Fatima and Zach were like any kind of real thing. I said, this is all fine and good now and he is loving her now, but what happens on the, on the first day that she actually has to tell him about himself or she actually has to check him or hold him accountable? Is he going to now run away from that or react horribly to that because it's cute and all when somebody is affirming you but that's not all of what your relationship is sometimes your partner is going to have to tell you yo you are fucking up or yo you actually mishandled this and is he able to actually to to be able to take that and while i don't think that tyler perry is addressing that specifically in the last episode and then what we're going to see moving forward i do think it's interesting how he has the opportunity to stand in this thing with Fatima that is a complete misunderstanding and he's choosing to run and I know I posted a comment on under one of your like um under one of your Instagram posts and the person was like he's not running she told him to leave if he did not say everything that he felt or thought or was confused by and he decided to tell her yeah I told Karen that we're gonna get back together why are you lying you're running because you're trying to like you're trying to to cushion the blow of the hurt of the idea behind this stuff. And to me, that is what a relationship is made of. Like being able to actually be able to have honest conversations with one another, to be able to hold each other accountable on top of being able to affirm one another. So, sorry, that's like my little piece around that. <laughs> no, I agree. I agree. I, I did one of my videos today talking about how he's in his feelings when he says all those things. Now, again, these trailers can be misleading, but I feel like it's safe to say that he lies about the Karen talk in order for Fatima to just kick him out so he can just go because he doesn't even want to really have that conversation because he was so hurt by that recording he heard on the phone. Now, something else to take into account is the fact that, well, yeah, Tyler Perry's writing it, so... I just really wish he had that part because speaking to the, the dialogue around trying to have her tear her walls down a perfect way to knock out whatever the rest of them damn walls are that she would have will for him to be to lead with his own ability I heard this it may it hurt my feelings like what is up with that speaking as a black woman that would make me go like oh okay it's safe here like He's telling me how he like feels. Feels. He's telling me that he I hurt him, and this and this wasn't even the case. And she could clear it up. Like, yeah, I, I agree with uh, Greek Destiny, and I said this again in two of the videos I did today, and I remember talking to you about this. Zach and Fatima are both at fault for the current situation. She did not properly communicate, and it looks like he's about to make the same mistake. Well, it really depends when you think about it, because. Nothing about, I think it's just the fact they both haven't talked about it. Why didn't Zach tell Fatima about Hayden showing up at the house? Why didn't uh, 
Fatima tells Zach, hey, I think uh, Hayden has been listening in on our phone calls. And then, you know, kind of uh, have that line of communication so they can really plan things out because things, you could tell this is trivial, right? Not that it's bad writing because this happens in a lot of things that aren't Tyler Perry. Little things happen to keep the plot going because you've got to make sure these two aren't fully together yet because we're moving into season four. Uh, just a quick segue. If I were to make a prediction, I think that the Zatima series is probably during the events of season four of Sisters because when Tyler Perry went to like a the mountain Zatima retreat for like six what? Uh, remember when Tyler posted about Moose when he went to like a mountain retreat? He kept posting about a moose that would be outside. He was there for like four to six weeks and he wrote like 72 episodes of TV. We can, you know, figure that was Bruh, The Oval, Sisters, and Ruthless probably. And then when he did that Hollywood Reporter article I was telling you about earlier, while he was filming Bruh season three, he said, oh, over the weekend, I wrote 10 episodes of a new show I'm going to be filming re really soon the Zatima series and I'm guessing that since the writing of that show took place after the writing and filming of Sister Season 4 Zatima's probably going to happen either during or after the events of Season 4 of Sisters that's just a theory I think it might wind up popping up in the mid-season of Season 4 yeah that's my guess too if nothing else mid-season finale because it's going on BET Plus and it's only 10 episodes. So he might, I don't, I don't know if he would put them all up there at once because he knows that Tima is a main draw. BET Plus has been a turn off for people because you have to pay for it. All the Queen's Men, Ruthless, Bruh, First Wives Club. But when I shared the article and posted a video about this Tima series, everybody's like, I'm getting it now. Oh, I'm getting BET Plus. Mainly because of the, you know, it's the team of sex scenes. You know how Tyler Perry does. And y'all, we are not sponsored by BET Plus, but I was one of those people who was just like, I am not going to buy BET Plus because BET regular is not giving what it's supposed to give. So why would I pay for BET Plus? <laughs> but BET Plus is actually good, y'all. They got some good stuff on there. So if you holding out, go ahead. Just go ahead and get them your little $9 or whatever because it's good. <laughs> you, you, know, you know he's got like seven down down subscriptions anyway. Yeah, if you could pay for Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, and all that stuff, you could pay for BET Plus too. Support your own people but, now. Facts, 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 facts. 